This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Major Indecision. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another Fish for Thought video. Man, it's already been a week. Let's get some reviewing done. Review some fish tanks. Where have you guys been? You already know how it's gonna go down. Say it with me now. Fish tank re- t Got you. Review. Well, that was too fast. I got myself. Re- View. This is a weird episode today. Better brace yourselves. That is... Wow. I... What kind of fish are those, man? And why? <laughs> you missed. Spoiler alert, you missed. The water is on the other side. Let's see what we have in terms of explanation. Okay, for anyone that's asking, I have no idea what was the context. My best guess is that they are just doing it for the TikTok clout. Hey man, that's what I would have guessed. That is the epitome of the example. You don't know about and yes, that was self-censored, no editing required. Saw another comment saying these are walking catfish, but man, they don't look like they're having a very jolly old time. And why is there just that many of them? I'll take videos that need more context, 500. Like there's the water on the right side, but you just gotta pour it all the way on the floor. <laughs> these are fish, you know. Generally a good idea to dump the fish in the water. It's like that game, The Floor is Lava, except for fish, it's not a game. Hey guys, quick pause. I just wanna take this time to tell you my favorite brew every morning. Oh no, it's not even coffee, it's Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a newsletter that keeps you up to date on all the daily businessy things that are happening around the world. And you get it in your email and you just scroll through your phone and get up to date in about five minutes. I don't know about you guys, but every morning I wake up, I immediately go to YouTube Shorts and look at the dumbest videos I could ever find, not learning a single thing. And all the while, anxiety just building up inside me because I know I'm supposed to be doing something else. All of a sudden, oh look, I only have three minutes left to get ready. But since I started using Morning Brew, I kid you not, it takes about five minutes and I learn so much in that five minutes. Almost feels like I'm smart. Look, nobody's looking at traditional news, definitely not newspapers anymore, it's dry, dense, and boring. But Morning Brew keeps it witty, relevant, and super informational. I actually heard of Metaverse first from Morning Brew. I remember talking to my friends, they were like, what? What do you mean Facebook changed their name to Meta? So yeah, I guess I'm I'm now the one who uh, looks at the news and keeps up with current things more than everyone else in my life. It takes 15 seconds to subscribe. It's absolutely free. That is bonkers. So there's no reason to not subscribe if you're at all interested in finance, business, or tech. So sign up for free now using the link below. There is nothing to lose and so much to gain. Thank you so much, Morning Brew, for sponsoring this week's video. At a local Chinese takeaway, at least they don't look too unhealthy yet. Two fish sucking air isn't healthy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to agree with that guy. It took me a hot minute to figure out what the heck I was looking at over there. It looked like a turtle. I zoomed in, I still couldn't tell, and then my brain clicked. It was like, oh, that is a black moor, and it's got kind of a golden belly going on. That guy doesn't look like he's, you know, having the best time. That looks like me when I'm underwater, unable to breathe. And this is a fish. Why are you here? I thought you were financially stable. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> How could someone be financially stable if they have that going on at home? The electric bill alone would mean financial ruin. And you best bet someone with that setup isn't stopping anytime soon. This is just one angle of the camera, but if this picture was taken by a 360 camera, you'd see like fish tanks all around the room. I wouldn't even have been surprised if that was the actual reason why he was playing Squid Game and why he's in so much debt. Korean people go pretty crazy with their fish tanks. This tank is sent in by Amy Percival on scapism.com. Beautiful planted rimless, pretty clean scape. That wood piece is amazing. You got two angels, one pretty long, a veil tail, I think, and the other one just a normal juvenile marble. My favorite part of this is that little bridge you did with the driftwood and all also, the little plantings you have, detailings around the hardscape. Perfect. 4.15 out of 5. Keep it up. My biology teacher insists this is fine for these fish. Your biology teacher is about to get fired off the face of this earth. Yeah, you have a bad biology teacher. They should be ashamed. 
this teacher clearly sucks at biology. Hey, is it just me? Or I mean, it can't just be me now, but I also vibe with it that like biology teachers just generally don't know good biology or really anything. Here's my working theory, okay? And yeah, I've never had a good biology teacher. They were either the running joke, running meme of the whole school, or they were just really, really incompetent. In fact, one of them ate like tree bark. And the other one would always make weird, disgusting jokes. Not about biology, not cool facts. Disgusting jokes that had no place in a grade 9 classroom. My working theory is that high school biology doesn't really need you to know much about science. It's not like chemistry where you need to understand the formulas and how to do it, or physics where you do need to know the formulas very well. Excluding like the AP advanced courses in high school, biology is all about memorization and the teachers don't need to memorize anything. They got the answers in the notebooks, in their teaching curriculums, telling them what to say. That's probably why why there are so many bad biology teachers. They're just getting by. Okay, this guy's the cosplay guy. It's got Mandarin Orange and it's <laughs> it's a ranch. Or sorry, pardon me, Lionhead. Or I don't know my goldfish breeds. Is this actually what he did or did Avello just photoshop that or find a meme somewhere? I think this guy started out in like anime cosplaying, like just like cheap one dollar cosplays. Alexander New Miller sent this in on escapism.com. I love the shot here. You got some fancy photography going on. It's got just the slightest bit of shallow depth of field. You're focused in on the very center of the tank. There's no stocking yet. There is a clean backdrop and some green plants and what looks to be nutritious rich substrate. 3.8 out of 5. Excited to see what you're gonna make of this tank. For three months, I thought it was abandoned until today. What in the Siamese algae eating skunk botia is that? It's like you tried to hotbox your fish bowl. It's like you tried to make it into a hookah or something. Bonging it up straight up. Is that airline actually coming from an air pump or are you taking out some like, what is it? Are you doing the drugs, sir? Holy that water is hard. Yeah, the KH and the GH must be through the roof. This fishbowl does look like it's been through some hard times. Like, this is a hard mother... Straight out of the streets of Detroit. I think I saw in the comments that there were still things living in it. And that's, that's very interesting. Must be an extremophile. You know, the same ones that can live in the Yellowstone geysers. You guys say geysers or geysers? Danny Tran sent this in on scapism.com. If you haven't got it by now, scapism.com is where you submit fish tanks. I gotta keep saying it so that people will start catching on. Even though we got like over 500 submissions alone from escapism already. Actually, 500 was like a month ago, maybe. This is a beautiful scape and it's very clean, it's rimless, and it's pretty funny, hilarious that you've got this like rock just attached by zip ties because you probably forgot that wood floats. Uh, don't worry, a lot of us in the hobby forget that. For now, it's gonna look a little whack, but I mean, you already got it going on. You embedded all these bryophytes onto the wood itself and it looks absolutely stunning. I don't know why you didn't just strap the piece of wood in the back so that you can't see it. Aside from that, I feel like the stocking is a little bit over the top here. I think I see a Julii quarry and that other one's probably Julii as well. And you have what looks to be, oh, I thought there was only two German blue rams, but there's another one, Odo Sinclus. It's a little much, but hey, if you can't keep everyone healthy and happy, all the power to you. I just don't suggest this stocking. Four out of five, would love to see an update on this. This episode's bonus secret comment is Linehead Goatfish. Grammy Def has enough room. Yeah, see, that's confusing. What indeed happened here? My question is how someone who clearly knows how to plant and scape a tank just thinks, oh yeah, let's put a fish in such a small tank it can't even turn. Hey, I guess uh, people who are good at planted tanks are good at taking care of plants, but doesn't mean that that knowledge translates to how to keep fish. This guy really got it backwards. Most fish keepers, they start off as fish keepers and then they learn more about plants. So by the time they're good with plants, they're already pretty darn good with fish. This guy just ate the pizza from the crust. The mattress on the tile floor really just makes this image. Hey man, don't don't make fun of that. Bro might be having a tough financial situation of a time, okay? But yeah, I guess not a tougher time than the Garami on the bottom tank. That's that's true. Maybe maybe Bro has like a abusive roommate that will not take their advice. My man doing Animal Crossing in real life. I mean, he's not not doing that. Let's put it that way. I've seen the Animal Crossing tanks and I might have a better time with those. I'm sorry, could you run that one past me again? I'm not sure if I heard right. Rio Wild. The giant python, nature's venomous killer. Now I'm not a snake guy, although I do, I would like a hog nose and maybe a milky snake, whatever they're called, and perhaps one of those uh, sand boas. Sand boas are cute. 
but even I know a thing or two about Python is that this real wild channel, 383k views guy here, I think most if not over half of those views are only clicking because they're like, what, what do you mean? Nature's venomous killer. Ah yes, the Python's natural defense system, not constriction, venom. Very scary. What? My thoughts exactly. Real wild, more like real wrong. <laughs> Me all day, doing nothing. Sudden inspiration to do a water change at 2 a.m. Literally. I guess I am a night owl. I get more active the later it gets. Must be residue from my uni days. But the thing is, I can also be a morning person. I wake up real quick. People say that those who wake up quick are stupid and those who wake up slowly are much smarter because their brain takes more power to uh, wake up. So I, I don't know how true that is, but hopefully Alan Gonzalez sent this in on, you guessed it, escapism.com. This is a beautiful tank and all, but the first thing I saw with my eyes is that tiny little thing. That guy's cool. And for those of you who are like, Chris, you don't even notice the beta right in front of you. Guess what? Joke's on you. I noticed that probably before you did. Ha, huh, take that. Very cool stalking. The Valis is creating a forest. You got Rotala, Ludwigia. You got plants in the midground, foreground. Very natural hardscape. I'm digging this. Again, perfect stalking as well, at least for me. Keeping it very interesting, unique. 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. Evo chairs be like, forget to keep your hands wet. Is it keep your hands wet or get your hands wet? Don't forget to get your hands wet. It's get your hands wet. Evil Chris would say that. Yes, yes he would. Matt sent this in on space. Space. <laughs> Matt sent this in from space. This is the uh, this is the Milky Way galaxy from afar. Apparently, the planets are just buse. I I can't say I didn't expect this, but I guess it all makes sense. Buse is love. Buse is life, and now Buse is the galaxy. Just look at it, fish tank. Well, I'll bet 45 bucks. That is a lava lamp, sir. Not a fish tank and not worth 45 bucks, maybe 45 cents. Good rule of thumb for buying fish tanks. If your dick can't fit in it, neither can you fish. I mean, I can't fish anyway. I should learn how to fish. That'd be pretty neat. Just kidding. I know what they mean. Um, are you sure about that? I don't think that should be a good rule of thumb for everyone. You know the fish keeping hobby is screwed when you're... <laughs> When you're asking, when you have to ask this question, can my dick fit in there? If it can't, should I really be buying this tank for better fish? And I think that's high time we wrapped up this little episode up. Welcome to the end of the video and the video club. Let's get it. Smash that like button. Thank you for staying all the way till the end, pushing that algorithm, helping this channel reach new heights. And the secret comment of this episode is walking catfish. Go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video and try to make a little sentence out of it. If you enjoyed this episode of FTR, please smash that like button and subscribe and forget to keep your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Carisiformes to Parachirod on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.